Hey Money Guy family, it's your host Brian Preston and Mr. Bo Hansen back with another episode of Ask the Money Guy. That's right, you guys have financial questions, we have financial answers. If you want to ask us a question, go out to your favorite social, use the hashtag Ask the Money Guy and we will answer your questions. It's Brian Preston, the Money Guy. So Brian, today is one that we get all the time and it's not one that we ever really thought we would get because we're always surprised when we find folks listen to us that have this mindset and this is the way the conversation goes guys I hear what you do it looks like you love it I think I might want to go into the financial advising world how do I begin a career in financial planning this one is near and dear to our hearts and and let me tell you I feel like I have to give you the background because that is gonna be this gonna be a three-part series this is the first one on background of how we ended up here is that I remember we don't come from money. That's right. Um, and I, it's one of those things where I finally realized in the mid 90s when I came out of college, it was like 1996 when I got my first Millionaire Next Door book and The Wealthy Barber. I, I basically consumed those two books within a two week period of each other. And there was just a connection That's that right. changed my life. And I realized this was my calling. This is what I want to do. And I think the best financial advisors do have that connection where they walk the walk. You know, when you were, you're doing this because you're purposeful and you feel like you have an ability with money that's not ordinary. I mean, Michael Jordan realized he could slam a basketball from the free throw line. It's kind of the same thing. If you have that special skill set, you're the one with the coupons, you're the one who always has a little bit extra money in the bank this might be the calling for you. So there's a lot of you probably watching this and you're like, that's me. I totally love reading financial (laughs) planning books. Um, Personal finance is my thing. How do I do this? We feel like we need to give you the background. What are the three different ways that you can do this professionally? Yeah, to to understand how to get into it, you have to kind of understand the profession in general, there are really three distinct business models. There are commission-based advisors, there are fee-only advisors, and then there's a third triumvirate that is called fee-based, which is kind of a mix of the two. Talk a little bit about each one of those types. Let's go through commission first, because this is what the lion's share are going to be somewhere between, they're going to be hybrids of this commission or right. fee-based. When we say lion's share, you mean probably like 60% of the I'm industry? I'm going to say the majority. Here, let me give you some numbers and then we'll go into more detail when we get to the fee only. There are approximately, what was it, right under 300,000 people that the Bureau of Labor Statistics, remember the federal government tracks this type right. of stuff, there's approximately 300,000, a little under, that say that they're personal financial advisors. That's what they call themselves. Fee-only advisors make up less than, or right around 3,000. So we're somewhere between one, definitely less than 2% mm-hmm. of the entire profession is doing it fee-only. So the lion's share, like I said, is taking some type of commission. Sure. And here's the thing, let me tell you, this is the catch with this profession. I love our fulfilling career, but unfortunately, the majority of people are salespeople. And the way this works is you will have somebody saying, hey, you wanna do this for a living, let us help you out. Um, we'll have you from street to selling within just a few months. You'll just go take this little course that take we have. Test, do some sales training. We'll get you prepared and licensed to do insurance, to, to take commissions. And then here's the next thing, here's the big catch. They'll say, Let's start reaching out to your friends, your family, your network, and let's get them some products. Who do so, you know that we might ought to talk to? So that, that this is a scary thing because the thing that I don't like is you get one opportunity with your network, your friends and family, and if you're three months out of the, the essentially you were birthed into selling product three months ago, how in the world are you an expert? That's right. So I will tell you that's a cautionary tale with unfortunately this profession is that a lot of the people are sales based and here's the thing that bothers me. The majority of you that go into this from a sales position, if you don't have assets, if you don't have connections, you're going to wash out. It's not a bad business model for the companies that are doing this way because they got all those introductions and guess what, when you wash out of this career, they get to keep your friends and family and the commissions as well as the assets that they're managing with that type of structure. So next, we have be only. That's right. And that's what you just said was less than 2% of the entire financial advising industry is, composed, industry is composed of fee only financial advisors. We are the unicorns of the industry. I come from a, a commission slash fee based background myself, so I kind of feel like I know both sides. Fee only, there are no fees 
that are taken by you except for what the client pays you. Right. This is more of, I like to tell people, this is the difference between being a salesperson versus being that paid consultant. Right. Um, now there are some catches if you want to do this for a living on a fee-only side, is that as a fee-only advisor, you're not going to, you're probably going to need to get that 10,000 hours become an expert. You, you've heard outliers, you know, they're not the one that came up with the concept, but they're definitely the one that made it famous. When Malcolm Gladwell talked about you got to do something for 10,000 hours, it's approximately five years right. to gain mastery, to become an expert, you're probably going to have to work, even if you're a career changer, you're going to have to work up to build some of that expertise. Exactly right. Now, here's the thing, I feel like we ought to give you a plug. We're a growing fee-only firm. If you're somebody who's watching this, you got two years of industry experience, you've already passed the CFP exam, we are growing and we're always looking to grow the, the, the Abound Wealth Money Guy family. So please reach out to us at moneyguy.com, contact us page. We'd love to hear from you. Bo, kind of close us out telling us a little bit about what fee-based means. Yeah, so fee-based is a hybrid of the two. There's some portion of that that looks like fee-only, but maybe they do still sell life insurance or some type of commission product or some other type of insurance. And here's what's really interesting about fee-based. It's really hard to tell the difference to see which side they lean on. There are a lot of really great, almost fee-only advisors that just sell term life insurance. And there are a lot of really not awesome product salesmen that just happen to put a wrap fee on there so they can call themselves fee-based. But here's, here's something I think is interesting. There's a fee-based advisor that is one of the biggest in the industry that I listened to an interview with him recently. Right. I mean, I'm talking about mega firm. They're actually leaving the fee base space and becoming fee only because they said that is actually where the ball is that's moving right. to. So that's that's a very affirming thing. And I think that a lot of that's driven. I know the fiduciary rule mm -hmm. is kind of lost its teeth. It's dying a sure. slow death, but it's definitely caused, uh, it's created a conversation where I think people are realizing it's nice to be on the same side of the table as your clients. And I like it because it more aligns, if, it, it's, if you become the consultant, you're more aligned to that back background like a, a CPA or an That's attorney right. where you know the, the clients not necessarily always worried about you selling or pitching products they're more worried, you know interested in you finding solutions for them that's exactly right if you're a fee only advisor and you recommend solution A solution B solution C you're indifferent to what solution the client chooses because you're getting compensated the same way what you ultimately care about the most about is the client selecting the solution that makes the most sense for their circumstance. So Bo, that's part one. Part two, what are we going to be covering when we come back to this, uh, this topic? We're going to talk about how do you find your fit. So once you kind of know the different side of the business, this different side of the, the business model, how do I know where I fit in with specifically what I want to do? So the next question we'll be answering is, if I want to go into the fee-only world, how do I know where I fit? Or even commissions, because we or, even give a shout out world. that. That's right. And then the last part three of our series is going to be how do you get a job as a financial advisor so tune in stick with us and then guys thank you for hashtag ask the money guy we'll be back soon